Wow, I'm just all decked out in UVA apparel. Anywho. Hey guys, it's Kayla. Welcome or welcome. <laughs> just slapped myself. What am I doing? <sighs> hey guys, it's Kayla. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you should subscribe and stay well. And if you're not, then welcome back. So for today's video, I decided to do a another video with Guppy because it is very much requested. And I do want to clarify though, I am in no way a hamster channel. Like I make videos that I just enjoy filming. And if you guys request videos, of course, I'm going to try my best to fill them, film them if I want to. But I just want to clarify that all my videos will not be on Guppy or about hamsters. I do make a lot of videos that are just like lifestyle videos and just things I like to film, vlogs, etc. You know, so I just want to put that out there. I also wanted to thank you guys for 4,000 subscribers. I know that's not a lot, but I didn't think that anyone would actually watch my videos because I made this channel just for fun and I just didn't think I'd ever get really an audience. So the fact that people are actually watching my videos just is really interesting to me because I don't think that I'm very entertaining, but um, that's great. I'm glad you guys are enjoying. And I also want to thank you guys for all the constructive criticism left on my videos about Guppy and all the advice and stuff and for you guys being so polite. But yeah, okay. Enough with the intro. Let's get on to the video, which is a cage tour. So there are some still... There are some things I still need to fix and it has been a few days since I have cleaned Guppy's cage so a lot of things have been moved around and shifted but I will clarify everything in the end like end portion when I'm like talking about the cage and what I need to fix and just any general information about the cage. This is the view from the front of the cage just looking head on. There it is and then this is from a bird's eye view. Ta-da! But let's just start um, from the left side and go to the right. So on the left side we have his peanut hut, which he actually likes less than that hut. We have one right there and he uses that one a lot more than this one, which makes me kind of sad because I do really like the peanut and I was hoping he'd like it more, but that's okay. Whatever he likes is fine. When that was his only hut, he obviously used it, but now that he has two, he uses the other one more. But um, here we just have a bunch of little toys and shoes and toilet paper rolls and paper towels. We do have one. Under here, there's a paper towel that goes all the way down there under the bridge and then we have the bridge right there just like before from where the bedding decreases it just like goes like that and then continues on but we do have a little sand bath right here which i am going to eventually change out i'll talk more about that and later in the video the sand that i use right there is the repti sand um victoria rachel actually recommended that sand and for everyone wondering yes i do watch victoria rachel because i know i get a ton of comments saying that i should watch her and stuff and i do and i think she's great she gives out a ton of really good and reliable information so yeah but i do use the repti sand i switch it from the one I was using before and previously I was using something I got off of Amazon and it didn't look or feel too dusty at all but I still wasn't completely sure so I didn't want to risk it and cause any like in respiratory issues or anything so I did switch it to the Repti Sand and that's what I'm using now so moving on I have the bridge that big tunnel I have another little wooden bridge that he likes to climb on and like he likes to go through this I'm surprised he even fits through it but he really likes to do that and then he has his little what's that called a little like tunnel with holes in it that's like a seesaw too that he likes to go through he has a little heart like chew thing there and then his hut that he has completely like buried because he burrows so much and then he has his wheel that i still have not upgraded i will talk more about that soon and his water bottle bedding wise i have about 10 to 11 inches over here and then it gets shorter as it goes it like decreases i do need to add more bedding right here in the front he's just like moved stuff around and i literally don't know where that bedding went but i do need to add some there and the reason why there's not a lot of bedding on this side is because the wheel again is gonna sink and i can't really have that but yeah i'm thinking about adding a platform under the wheel so i can add more bedding i'm not exactly sure what i want to do with that yet but as of right now it's just shorter and even then it still sinks sometimes so i have to fix it okay so now that i have shown you guys this guys's um now that i've shown you guys his cage there are some things that i need to address first being 
thing. Someone left a comment saying that like I should know what gender he is and stuff. Oh, she is, I guess, because <sighs> I've seen a ton of comments saying Gubby's a girl, which is kind of funny because I've been calling him a he for so long, calling her a he for so long. And that's okay if he's a girl. I'm still probably gonna call Guppy a guy or call him like a he and stuff because I'm just so used to it because I feel like Guppy's more of a male name. But yeah, um, someone was just a little offended that I didn't know what his gender was, his true gender, and saying that basically like hamsters have feelings too. But Guppy has no clue that I don't know his gender and it doesn't affect him in any way and it doesn't harm him in any way, more importantly. So I don't see it as that being a problem. I understand why you could be kind of upset if it was hurting him. I just don't think that it's that big of a deal since I'm still caring for him the same way and I'm still treating him as my child. <laughs> like, <laughs> just saying. Okay, just wanted to get that out of the way. Other things that I needed to talk about was the container of sand. So I just got that off of Amazon because the dish really just wasn't working out because it kept sinking and I had to constantly keep bringing it up and it just like was not working out. So I needed to get something. Also, someone said to get something with a cover on top. So that's like my temporary little container of sand. I am thinking about making a section separate just for sand specifically. And that way it, sa it saves bedding. And also he has a larger area of sand. So I think I'm going to end up doing that. Don't know when, but I still need to plan that, I guess. So yeah. I did get a new bridge for Guppy and I'm looking at my phone because I have just a list of things that I need to talk about. <laughs> but um, I did get a new bridge for Guppy and I think that's how I'm gonna separate the bedding from the sand. But the problem with that bridge is it has a lot of gaps so I have to glue moss onto it to make sure that like nothing is getting stuck in between the gaps like his like little toes or his little feet. And I really don't want him to be stuck in there. So um, I have to glue moss in between all of them just to make sure nothing happens. And I didn't do that with my other bridge because with my other bridge there's like barely any gaps and certainly not big enough for him to get stuck in it. So that's why I haven't done with that. But the other one I'm probably going to have to do. Well, I'm definitely going to have to do. Okay, I wanted to talk about the wheel because I have some people saying that the wheel is completely fine. I have some people saying that no, I need to change the wheel. So as of right now, Guppy's back still does not bend when he is running on it or anything. And I realized... <sighs> I realize that as he gets bigger and as he grows older, it might change. So I am planning on changing his wheel in the future. But because right now nothing is bothering him in any way and his back doesn't bend at all, then I'm not changing the wheel. But I still do need to... Sorry, I got a text. <laughs> but I'm still thinking about changing it and I definitely will be in the future, so yeah. Okay, so I understand the cage might not be perfect and um, there are probably things that I can still fix, which I'm working on, but please keep in mind, I also just spent over $100 on things for Guppy and it's not cheap and I've been like trying to work with what I've got. I've been like using paper to towel rolls and toilet paper rolls to like fill the empty spaces just so that he can go through things. And there, I'm gonna try to make some boredom breakers for him, which I'm really excited about. But um, I saw Victoria and Rachel make like a whole video on it, so I was thinking about making some, and I might do that soon. But yeah, so just please keep in mind that I'm trying my best, and I'm still learning. So yeah. <laughs> okay, another thing that I wanted to show you guys was I'm really excited about this. Someone recommended in my comments that I go on Etsy and buy some foraging like herbs and stuff, which I thought was literally such a cool idea, and I've never shopped on Etsy before. So I went on Etsy and I bought this. It's a little package. I ripped the box when I opened it, as you can see. Oh, yeah, I didn't rip it anymore, but it's... I literally just tore it open because I was so excited, but it's from Wed Redwood Grove. This is what... Ooh, this is what it looks like. Ta-da! It's literally such cute packaging, and a, like... Oh, that's my mail. Let's, like, let's ignore that. It came with this, like, wrapping and a little note and a foraging mix. So that's really exciting. Guppy seems to really like it. I tried it out today, uh, not today, <laughs> sometime this week. And he seems to really enjoy it. I just sprinkled it all over his cage and he went around collecting everything and then slowly is just everything started to like disappear. But he seemed to really enjoy it. They also gave me like a free sample of treats that they make. So there it is. I thought that was literally so cute and so sweet of them to be sending that. And yeah. 
Yeah, what they sent me, the sample was Nutty Bites and Oatmeal Raisin Cookies. But I got two ounces of the Garden Foraging Mix. And I think this was $10, if I'm correct. Let me check. And I'll also read you guys the ingredients of, like, what's in here. Let me just see really quickly. Yes, yeah, so it was $10. And the ingredients are strawberry leaves, red rose petals, whole marigold flowers, kale, spinach, and parsley stems and I did look up all the ingredients just in case to make sure that they were hamster safe just to be cautious I'm sure that they wouldn't send like me anything that like wasn't but you never know I just you know want to be extra careful and I'm really happy with this product I would definitely buy it again and the note that like came with it was just so cute they're like thank you for our order and it's just like really cute and I don't know. I just love supporting small businesses. Like I just, it's so exciting. But um, yeah, that's what I did basically. And I don't know if I have anything else to talk about with that. He really liked it. So that's really good. That makes me really happy. There are two more things that I need to talk about. Okay, so the first thing was I called my hamster mean in one of my videos. <laughs> and that was completely a joke. I was like, I don't know if he's just mean or if like something, I don't know. I'll play back that part. If he's just mean and likes to bite me. But people were like, were like, your hamster's not mean. Like, it's just that he's probably scared or he's, you smell like food. I know he's not mean, guys. I was just kidding. And I guess no one really caught on. I guess it sounded more serious than I meant for it in my head. But I know he's not mean. I mean, I'm sure he's not purposely being like a but yeah <laughs> the second thing is or the last thing is really um a lot of people are recommending for me to switch to from a water bottle to a water bowl and i do like the idea i watched victoria rachel's video on that debate and um it is like more natural for them to be drinking out of like a bowl rather than a water bottle and also if you don't position the water bottle correctly it can be like uncomfortable for them to drink from it and there's more bacteria in a water bottle and stuff and the beads sometimes get stuck so like i just like gathered information and um i do want to switch to a water bowl however i need a platform or i need to at least like build a platform or something to do so and i need to do that so i did buy some materials from from Walmart to build a little platform for him so that he I can switch to a water bowl. I don't know how long that'll take for me to actually like, build it and stuff, but I also need to buy him like the perfect little water bowl. So it's not too big, not too small, you know? So yeah, that's basically it. That's my update on Guppy. He's doing well, he's happy, he's healthy. And he was just out earlier, but he went away. Um, oh wait, there is one more thing that I need to address. The water bottle climbing. So Guppy, not going to lie, to like be completely honest, he still climbs on his water bottle. And I'm trying trying to do everything I can to stop that behavior. And that is also why, as you can see in the video, that there's nothing really next to his water bottle just in case he climbs on it and falls off. I don't want him falling on any of his toys, especially the wood ones. I don't want him to get hurt or anything. Only does it when he sees me. And I think it's just because he knows that I'm gonna give him a treat and he wants attention or something. But he doesn't do that when I like leave him alone or if like I'm going to bed. He doesn't do it when he doesn't see me. I don't know why that took me so long to say, but he doesn't do it when he doesn't see me. And only when he sees me is when he gets excited and then he tries to climb on his water bottle. But I did, I did notice that um, instead of just falling off his water bottle like he did in that one video, he jumps off of it now. He like, he like prepares himself and then he just jumps and lands on his feet. But at least that's better. So he's not like, you know, flailing as he falls and stuff. But that's also a huge reason that I do want to switch your water bottle because I don't want to have to deal with that and worrying about if he's gonna get hurt or if he's gonna get stuck or anything like that. So yeah. <laughs> That's basically an update on Guppy and his cage tour. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the other videos on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys. <laughs>